happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on this absolutely stunning tractor. I was having a little flashback when I was turned around down there and I was uh, uh, just like a little, little moved by it. 20, 20 years ago, 23 years ago, I bought our farm and I was out shopping for tractors and I went to the John Deere dealer and, th and this was on the floor. That's uh, a 2000 model year, John Deere, 4600, top of the line, two liter, two liter, three cylinder, diesel tractor, four by four with the R4 tires, exactly what I wanted and, and they're expensive. But, uh, the, to replace this tractor today, exactly as you see it, it's $55,000 plus the backhoe, so you're looking at damn near close to $65,000. Back in, uh, back in uh, 2001, when this one was purchased, uh, this this was a very expensive tractor, and I had to settle for a used Kubota, but I, I dreamed of having a new John Deere, and, and when I saw this tractor, this was owned by one of our, one of our clients uh, who had passed away. His wife had called us, he owned a, a, a um, a large auto salvage company, and this was his personal tractor. He bought it brand new, have all the literature, all the receipts, every piece of provenance on the tractor, including the original loan documents and everything else. Uh, he passed away, and I was over their house. He had a collection of 18 Harley Davidsons, a Triumph, some really cool old Harleys, and the Panhead, and a, a Dyna. And, and I bought the whole collection, and I saw the tractor, and I was like, What are you doing with the tractor? And she goes, Well, I'm going to sell it. So we ended up doing a package deal, and I bought the tractor too. And uh, I really would love to keep this because I still have the farm. Most of the heavy lifting has been done on the farm. I've worn out a couple tractors in 23 years. I've worn out two backhoes there. Uh, I've I ran out a full John Deere 750 dozer undercarriage and two Bobcats. I put 2,600 hours on a Bobcat alone on my property. But um, back to this tractor. This was a dream tractor. I'd love to keep it. But right now, if you follow the channel, you know that I just bought a Kenworth tractor trailer. And I need to build, be, build a building for it. And the building's going to cost substantial uh, investment. So. Um, I was going to keep this, but this has to go. It's almost too nice to use, too. I was thinking I'd take it up to the farm and use it, but I know, I know it, um, in the condition it's in right now, uh, it, it's absolutely uh, showroom condition. It's, it's, it's uh, in mint condition. We did a little bit of work to it. Um, I have a lot of receipts for what was done to it. It's all the, um, the tractor has the original rear tires on it. Uh, the, the hour meter was 1,284 hours on it when we got it the hour meter failed so we put a new one on there a new dash a whole new dash on it uh, has 4.1 hours on the hour meter but these are the original tires you can see they're they're uh, um, about right for a 1200 hour tractor the, the front tires were replaced in 2017 those have a 2017 date code but it's just a beautiful piece tractor loader backhoe um, this is a uh, really cool size where it, it, it's a commercial size tractor, but not too big for, for a home or small farm use. This John Deere 48 backhoe attachment is an extremely valuable piece. I know uh, back in the day, it was just under 10 grand. I know they're well over 10 grand now. This will dig eight feet deep. Look at the condition of the bucket on this thing. Look at, look at the digging teeth on it. It's like it was never used. Um, it's in mint condition. Uh, the the, the cylinders, all of the hydraulic lines were the original hydraulic lines. And it was a pet peeve of mine on my farm. Every time we went to use it, one of the old tractors I had, a line would blow. So we have a, a diesel mechanic who works here, Anthony. And I said, Anthony, put all new hydraulic lines on it. So if you look, every hydraulic line on this tractor is brand new. And all of the cylinders, I have the receipts, it was over $2,000 uh, to have all of these cylinders sent out and rebuilt. I wanted new seals and new hydraulic lines. All hydraulic lines and seals are new because that's the one thing that goes on old tractors. Uh, you know, once, it, once they're like seven to 10 years old, they start to dry out. This one right here couldn't be rebuilt, so this is brand new. I believe this one was like $1,200 for it. It was expensive. So the tractor is in uh, beautiful condition. It needs nothing. I have all the receipts. Let me show you. Let me show you what I got over here. Um, I've got the original brochure from the dealer this is the top of the line 43 horsepower model 4600 so one that's on the cover here i've got the original bill of sale the original john deere credit uh all the loan documents the original uh receipt thirty five thousand three hundred fifty dollars is what it went for um these are the, the filters we just did uh the oil filters the hydraulic filters the air filters the fuel filter the spool valve some o-rings three check valves and a clutch spring and we went through and changed all the fluids and the oil and everything on it, uh, replaced the battery. Um, the uh, radiator was replaced and it has a brand new uh, uh, oil filter, uh, brand new antifreeze, 
So it's pretty much, uh, I, can't think of any, I can't think of anything else that I would have done. And I was rebuilding this for myself, so everything was done right. All kinds of receipts here um, for from from all of the work that's been done, all the John Deere credit uh, stuff, the, the original bill of sale. Everything's in here. It's a one-owner tractor. I bought it from the original owner's wife after he passed away. Um, so everything's here. Everything in here comes with it. It's full documentation, full provenance on the tractor. So um, it's not like this thing's been passed around through construction companies. It was a one, the guy who bought it and paid the loan documents on it. It was a successful, I'm assuming he was a millionaire um, based on his house and, and everything else uh, that he left behind. Um, but he couldn't take this with him, obviously. So, and she had no, no use for it. So she let it go. Um, and I've had it since, when did we get this? Was it was last summer? It's yeah, been, it was last summer. Been almost a year, yeah. Yeah, almost a year that we've had it. Um, in addition to all the hydraulic lines and all the hoses being redone, I, I replaced the seat with a brand new seat. I replaced the backhoe seat with a brand new seat. So it has two new seats on it. All the fluids are new, the battery's new. The, the, the gauge pack here is, is, is new. Um, it's just a beautiful piece. The, the, uh, Everything works great on it. If you have any questions about it, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Um, we can ship it anywhere in the United States for you. We do have connections with shipping. When it comes to the John Deere tractor, uh, this is an American-made tractor. They're assembled in Augusta, Georgia. The front-end loaders that you're looking at right here was made in Ontario. It also has a brand-new 73-inch bucket. That's not a cheap China bucket. That's a John Deere bucket. I had the receipt for that. That's a $1,500 bucket. Um, it's got the R4 tires on it. It's uh, it's about as good as things can possibly get uh, without spending sixty thousand dollars. And I, I was on the John Deere website today. The the, the, the 2023 version of this tractor is fifty five thousand dollars without the backhoe loader, plus shipping, delivery, sales taxes, everything else. You're not going to walk out of the dealer with one of these, to my knowledge, for for under under sixty thousand. Um, it, it, they're, they're very expensive. They've gone up. Uh, I punched in an inflation calculator, $35,310 uh, in 2001 to today, and it came up to $61,000, and that's about what these go for based on the MSRP being 55. So it's not a brand new tractor, um, but it's, it's, it's an excellent used tractor with low hours that was owned by one man. And uh, it, it's a kick-ass piece. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. This is the top of the line John Deere 40, in the 4000 series, the 4600. It's got the power and the torque to handle big jobs. Uh, it's got the um, hydrostatic uh, power versa transmission. Um, they're built with safety first. The ROP set it has on it is the extra tall rollover protection system. It has the toolbox on, on the driver's left hand side. It's user friendly. Uh, awesome visibility sitting on it. Uh, easy to check everything on it. It has headlights on it. Um, if you run it out of fuel, this has an auto bleed system. You, a lot of tractors, you have to have them service you run out of fuel, not this one. You simply refill it and turn the key to start the engine. Uh, instrument panel is easy to read, easy to steer, easy to drive. It's a smooth ride. The high back bucket seat is brand new. It's adjustable. Um, easy to hook up uh, the, the front end loader or take it off or, or add attachments or remove the, the back hole loader, whatever you want to do. It's got a ton of horsepower, a ton of torque, and it's ready to work and do whatever work you need done. Um, and they're easy to get parts for anywhere you they, they made they made the same tractor for many years so the parts are plentiful and come and and available at the John Deere dealer it's not like you're buying a, a Chinese tractor and you know you don't know what the hell you know where you're gonna get your parts from a from a, a Chinese uh, made machine that um, you know is uh, maybe made out of Chinese metals and, and lower components they change the they change the configurations on them all the time this is designed by American engineers for Americans built in America out of American components, so um, just a kick-ass tractor. Has the 48 backhoe. Hope it goes to a good home. Like I said, we have in-house financing if you want to finance it. We also we're a motorcycle museum and a motorcycle dealership. So if you had a motorcycle collection that you wanted to, or one bike that you wanted to trade in towards it, give, give my son Kenny Jr. a call 860-454-7024. We're here Monday through Friday. Um, I hope it goes to a good home, and this will help pay for the barn we need for our tractor trailer, and someday I'll get another one, because this is a dream tractor. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.